Well, hello there. I have presently been clamping the face boards on here. You can see one that looks pretty nice right here. Look at that sucker. Look at that. Look at that drawing up there. Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. There's, there's another one. This one over here I had to fight a little bit because it was bent. Right? <laughs> yeah. This so is a combination then, apples to apples and headbands. That's weird. What I'm doing is I'm clamping a board on each side here. And then um, that locks this in place as a, uh, a horizontal thing I can push against, for crying out loud, to push inward, because I don't want to show any fasteners. I don't even want to have any fasteners. So I'm just gluing it with some nice wood glue, and then I put shims in here to apply pressure at any point where I don't feel like it's gotten pressure. And I'm testing that by listening for the glue to go squish, squish when I push in at various points. So this one squished, squished all over the place and I had to have a whole bunch of uh, pushers there, shall we say. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut boards. I actually have cut all of them for these guys to be as fascia. I think this one, uh, what did I label this one? Top four, so that means it's uh, two, three, four. It goes right here. And I got that angle right there so it's gonna slip along and as you can see, be um, nice and flat with the floor. And you see that little gap in the back there? I'll probably put a little wood putty in there or something so it's not um, catching dust and looking stupid. And then up at the top, we got a pretty nice joint right there where it just... What the? <laughs> that looks horrible. All right, let me see what I, what's going on. Oh, that's what it is. Um, there, as I press right, it goes in the right spot. So that's where we're going to put that sucker right there. And I'll do the same clamping mechanism as soon as my wife gets them stained. And that's the plan. Um, these guys are all ready. Oh, how did I get that angle though? Ended up being 38 degrees, whatever. So I have this guy here from start, and I placed it down right here, and I just went, actually has had two hands at that time. But I was going like this. Ugh. And I just checked them all. Blue! Like that. And it reads 38. And it reads like to the nearest two degrees. But you can kind of estimate the next one. And I just put it on the miter saw with a little scrap, and it worked really well, so I didn't do anything to that. I just kept it at 38 degrees, and it's pretty darn close. Okay, finishing touches. Well, I'm very pleased about uh, this vertical. It's nicely pinched in there, so I don't need any clamping to hold it. And the glue will dry and hold it just fine, I believe. And then um, I actually am kind of proud of this section right here where I'm doing another vertical and I decided just to pinch it versus this one with uh, some scrap wood here and a shim so I get a nice pressure on that it's nice and close against the wall then I have to figure out what to do about that gap maybe I'll get permission to put some cord around there or something maybe something blockish so it has the same style but covers up that mistake and then um, up a little bit I'm still pressing the same vertical over but now I've got something uh, shimmed over to this vertical which is already installed but to brace it I didn't want that to snap off because I'm pushing kind of hard I put a temporary horizontal in there and there and there and then this one here is pushing against the other side right now and that's gluing right there so I'm really close also did that vertical down at the bottom right there and I got the same prying situation right there down at the bottom I have uh, the, the system I developed a little bit ago where I'm clamping um, onto the existing plywood and shimming against the clamp to put pressure inward and upward on that um, board there that's covering up the plywood and you see a bare plywood end right there and you see another gluing one right there. I staggered them so I have two left to do so tomorrow I'll get that one that you see on the left of the screen and that one that you see on the right of the screen right now because the clamps won't be in the way from the other ones. Uh, whatever. Oh, and I'll have more clamps freed up. <laughs> so um, the only thing that remains then, and it's a little bit annoying, but I'm going to have to go up here and get those horizontals there. Um, I need to get them routed out because you can see that they're not the right thickness. They're definitely not the right thickness. So I'll be shaving off the upper parts of those, and then I'll... Um, then I'll pass them over to my stain queen, and then we'll install it, and then polyurethane the whole thing. Well, polyurethane's been going on okay. We set up a little blockade so the rest of the house doesn't get smoked out. And this is coat number two on the polyurethane. 
And, uh, well, there's really nothing else to say. I think we're about finished. We ordered some um, used hooks from Amazon. Yes, used hooks. So anyway, this is what the whole thing looks like. Let me see if I can actually get back to a point where you can see the whole dang thing. I bet you I probably can. Look at this. Look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah, uh -huh. That is what she looks like, which is okay. I'm proud of it. And I'm happy to be done. Goodbye. So at the very end, I just wanted to talk a little bit about everyday life in Cubby World. Cubbies are done, have been done for a few months, and we've been using them. And as you can see, stuff gets shoved underneath them, and stuff gets shoved into them. I think that the left one is mine and my wife's and the little kids, but the other ones belong to specific other children, and everybody's keeping their own stuff there. That's nice. Somebody has two helmets. Dang. But it's nice, and uh, you can't see the couple mistakes that I made without careful inspection. Uh, it looks like, um, like, you know, work that I can be really proud of. I like, in particular, the lines here that have held up. And, um, you know, it's, it's not getting nicked on the corners or anything. It's nice and tough polyurethane. A couple shots. Well, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Maybe you'll build something like that.